another experience. Welcome to our first double digit episode of Apex Instant Tip. Coming to you live every Friday at 12.05 EST for five minutes from single digit degree Fahrenheit, Massachusetts. My name is Hayden. And I'm Anton. And Hayden, I understand that you have lined up a celebrity guest for our 10th episode. I don't know what a pop star like Shakira is going to know about Apex, but I am looking forward to finding out. I'm afraid you misheard, uh, Anton. It's not Shakira. It is, in fact, Shakib. Ah, so all of my background on Shakira is going to go to waste. Ah, well, don't, don't worry, Anton. I, I got you covered. You know, I'm not going to blow you away like Shakira, but like uh, <laughs> I, I got something in here for you. So. All right. Well, as you know, Shakib, you have five minutes. We're going to get started right away, and I'm going to love this tip. I understand your hips don't lie. <laughs> all right, let's get started. I'm going to click on uh, start. So the timer is right here. You can see in the tab. What we're going to do is we've got this customer tracker application. I just installed it from the app gallery. Uh, and I'm going to go and customize this to look, make it look like a, you know, a back office application for Best Buy. So I went to Best Buy, and I like their website because they have like a strong brand identity. Uh, what we're going to do is first, we're going to go and drag that logo. And I have a folder pulled up on the side. You can't really see it. But I'm going to store that uh, uh, background image. Just going to go and copy it like this. And I got it. All right, the next thing is there's like a very strong color in here, and we're going to use that in just a sec. Uh, going back to my application, let's go into Theme Roller. And then you'll see that there's a new logo tab. And this kind of came out like a, a very recent re uh, releases of Apex. Uh, I'm going to go and change this to image and text. And that image that I just dragged over, no problem. Just go and put that right there. OK. And waka waka, it's up. So we got the logo. <laughs> we got there. Uh, we, you know. We're already ahead. It already looks like Best Buy, but let's make it a little bit uh, further. Let's get, let's get a little bit closer. So the next thing is they've got this color, right? And they, it's sort of used all over the place. It's used for links. It's used for the header. Uh, so how do we grab this color out of here? So I can go and inspect element. You can use your you know, browser developer tools to sort of do it. Uh, and on the right side, this is where all the CSS properties are. You'll sort of see a color hex some, someplace. You'll see, I already see it right here. But if you don't know, you, know, you can kind of look around some of the properties, look for the header, and you'll find it. So just go ahead and copy that hex code and, and go back. Is that, is that to, a different tool, or is that is that just part of the? That, that's the, just part of your developer tools. Is that no nothing fancy okay. here? I didn't uh, get any other software uh, for this piece right now. So let's okay, copy perfect. that. Uh, actually, I'm going to go and save this logo. I didn't do that yet. So let's go save that logo. Go back to theme styles, and then there's a header accent color here. I'm going to go and set that to that color that I just copied, and hit enter. Okay. So now we've got that Best Buy color, but uh, there's a, still a couple of things that we're missing here. Uh, if I go back to the Best Buy website. You know, I always used to go before the universal theme, I would edit the templates themselves. And no, 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 don't, don't modify any templates. Don't, don't do any of that stuff. Uh, well, I, can't, I can't remember to forget yeah, that. So, so see, uh, right now, we're going to style some buttons. Uh, and like, you can see there's already a couple of styles, right? They've got this like, uh, you know, default button and like a not hot button. Uh, I have a, a tool on my uh, on my Mac that I use to copy these colors. So just go ahead and copy that. That's going to be the normal color. So I'm going to go into here. Let's go into buttons. Uh, let's go into normal. How much time do I have? Two minutes, 30 seconds. All right. So I still got a little bit of time. You're halfway there. The normal color. Uh, and the hot color, that's all good. Uh, but the primary color, you know what they do in Best Buy? When you go when you want to go buy a product, they make their buttons uh, yellow. OK? Mm -hmm. So scroll down a bit. Uh, not that I would ever buy this phone, but I'm going to go and copy that color. And then let's go back into here. Let's make this primary thing. And so you copied the color. color the same way you copied all the other ones, right? Exactly. Nice. Yeah. So the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into layout right here. And you can see the header is a little bit cramped right now. And we've got two minutes. Let's go make this a little bit taller. So now it's about 72 pixels. Looks a little bit better. At the moment the page refreshes, we're going to have like a, a you know this little uh, and then things going to get fixed. Me gusta. Uh, <laughs> Next thing is, I'm going to go and try to load a different font in here as well. I've got one minute, 45 seconds. Uh, you can go to fonts.google.com. Uh, you can go and find any font. I'm going to just pick Roboto uh, just because I was looking at that Samsung Galaxy phone that you has Android. Uh, on the right side, you can go add all these icons. You got, you got the CSS rules you want to use. So let's go into uh, custom CSS. We're going to load that in. Uh, and they also give you a little bit of CSS right here to use it within your own applications. So I'm going to do body, uh, you know, put that in. And already, sort of the font's been loaded. It looks a little bit different than uh, what you're typically used to. Uh, I'm going to add one little bit of CSS to change the icons a little bit. So I'm going to say, you know, use those uh, font apex uh, class names. And instead, here I'm going to do 
You got one oh, minute. Okay. okay. So at this point, I have changed the fonts as well to make them a little bit stronger. So I'm going to save this as Best Buy. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to set it as my current theme style. Okay. So so far, I've got I still got like a good 45 seconds left. So if I open this navigation, it still has like that universal theme. Uh, kind of look and feel. If I want to change that, no problem. I can go back into here, uh, and I can find that same blue that I have like uh, all over the place. Sort of apply this right there. Oops, I had too many hash. Uh, here we go. OK, and yeah, you know, I think that looks pretty neat. If I wanted to use some yellow in there, I could. So let's say, let's make this icon uh, color uh, yellow. Let's go find that yellow. Where is it? How much time do I have? 16 seconds. All right, let's see. Come on. Okay, sweet. I'm going to save this. Nice. And close out a theme roller, reload the page, and I've got a custom branded experience in under five minutes. Oh, I love it. Right on yeah. time, too. That was perfect. Uh, I'll give you a pro. Yeah, I'm going to have to try everything, um, all of those. I didn't think I could do it. Wow. Like, uh, <laughs> that's only five minutes. Imagine what you could do with like, you know, 10 minutes or like maybe a whole half an hour, right? So I think, I think there's a little, lot of flexibility, a lot of power in, in this stuff. So I have to say, I think I'm going to watch that video every time I go to a, start to a new client so that I can do that while you're doing it and see if I can I, I can beat you or, or keep up. We can do it. We have like a lap timer, right? And, and yeah. <laughs> well, Shakib, I really enjoyed this. I have to say I'm addicted to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so <laughs> I think we've met our five minute goal. Anybody that, uh, that wants to stick around, Shakib has agreed to stick around too, but, uh, anybody that wants to leave, you can do all the things that you're supposed to do. Smash the bell, write letters to your friends, tell them to join us next week. Um, <laughs> but we're going to have a wisdom of the week and we're going to change things up a little bit, uh, this this week and not do a rating, but instead we're going to do a puzzler. At the very end, we'll introduce a puzzle and folks can, um, can uh, in the comments, see if they can get the answer. Um, hey, Hayden, do you want to read off uh, this week's Wisdom of the Week? Well, I hope it's a uh, Shakira lyric. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been good. I wish I had come up with that instead. Uh, so. Uh, a good design is temporal. Great design is timeless. It's impossible to know one from the other when first created. So very wise words, Anton. Are these uh, of your own um, crafting? They are. This one is wow. mine. I knew um, I knew we had some design uh, work going, and I thought wow. that's a that's a great quote, Anton. Wow. Like uh, I'm not trying to say that I'm not impressed you came up with this, but it's it's actually like it's it's very very true, right? Like a uh, great design is uh, timeless, uh, and and you can see that all sort of all over the place, right? So uh, things that have sort of existed for a long time, like uh, you, the, the patterns kind of reemerge, right? They, you always see the same patterns all over the place. And once you've perfected a design, it sort of just becomes transparent. It's always there. It's timeless. Uh, and, and the great words of uh, Shakira, right? Can't remember to forget you, right? So in a way, great design is something that you don't forget, but you don't actively think about either, right? It's just sort of there and it's transparent. Well, I have to say the chair in your background uh, is one of the things that inspired that quote. So there we go. Um, <laughs> um, uh, and that's an Eames chair, is that right? That is correct. Uh, so I, I, I'm a huge fan of mid-century modern furniture. And uh, the Eames, those, uh, you know, that couple was legendary in sort of designing furniture that was not only hyper-functional, uh, but you know, easy to sort of manufacture and super, super comfortable. So the, the whole purpose of that chair uh, is that when you sit in it, it should feel like uh, you know you're uh, you know it's like a uh, a use like a mitt or like a glove from baseball, right? It should just feel that like have that comfort in there, uh, and very homely. And it's an icon that's sort of you know been there since uh, you know they came out with this in the fifties. And relating this back to Anton's wisdom, we've had fifty years of of um, being able to establish that it is a timeless design. Uh, we would have to go back to the fifties to like experience that paradox of like not knowing whether or not it's temporal or, or timeless. You're right. Yeah. It's yeah. a great quote, Anton. No, oh, thank you, sir. I, I, let's see, do we have any, oh, we've got somebody that actually really liked our celebrity uh, involvement today, I, as did we. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
I, I think I have to say the same thing. Um, I may have to uh, watch the video a few times in order to even attempt to try it so quickly. You can do all of this. Like I did, did it on apexworld.com. Uh, it's so easy. Like uh, there's so much power and flexibility in theme roller. I think with the newer releases of Apex, we're gonna we're doing some really interesting things. So it's gonna be even faster. Like there are certain times where I was compiling a lot of CSS, and uh, you, you didn't see it because Steamer was doing all that for you. But with CSS variables and all this new stuff that we're working on, it's gonna make it so much easier to really customize your application to fit your own company, your own brand, and you don't have to be an expert to do it. Right? That's that's the whole point. We, you don't have to be an expert in all these web technologies to build something that's really compelling and something that you can feel proud of. Most excellent. Well, we um, we are going to jump. Oh, Rich asks, yes, when is Blink coming <laughs> back? So we we used to um, we used to say if anybody used Blink on the page, they would automatically get fired. So <laughs> um, so uh, we are going to do a puzzler this week. It's a little something a little bit different. Um, we don't expect anybody to get the answer uh, during our five, ten, twelve minute show. Um, but uh, we'd love to see if you uh, want to put the answers in the comments and uh, or tweet at us, whatever. Whatever makes sense. So Hayden, um, this is going to involve a couple of beers. Can you hand me a, a beer, please? Uh, yes, absolutely. So uh, here is a first beer. Wow, excellent. Thank you very much. I'm going to need a second one as well. And here is a second beer. All right, perfect. Those were perfect. Wow, how did you guys do that? <laughs> and here you we go. My cup as well, Anton. <laughs> yeah. That's, so let's see if we can get these in the screen. Um, so what I have here is two glasses. One is a. Whoop, is a Miller Lite. Oh boy. Let's see, I'm making a bit of a mess. And the other, wow. Um, I, I don't know how to pour it's a beer ahead. clearly. Um, so the other is the Barrel House Z. We've, uh, we've repped Barrel House Z before. You can see just looking at the Barrel House Z that it is a different beer than the Miller Lite. You've got the two beers here, right? So here is our puzzler. I am going to take exactly one tablespoon of the Barrel House Z Porter, and I'm going to add it to the Miller Lite. Look at that. And I'm mixing it up. And then I'm going to take one tablespoon from the Miller Lite and put it in the Barrel House Z. So the puzzler is, is there now more Barrel House Z in the Miller Lite or more Miller Lite in the Barrel House Z? Um, so I'll be interested to see what people's responses are. Hayden will give us the, uh, the answer next week. Um, Hayden was selected to give the answer because I know he has worked it out mathematically. It, uh, I think it's a really fun puzzle. Um, so I, I hope people enjoy it. All right. Uh, just pouring the beer. <laughs> You're making me thirsty, Anton. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty close to true. Um, Shane, the <laughs> Well, it is afternoon, um, so if anybody wants to join me, uh, I'm sure I can't finish them both myself. Uh, excellent. Um, well, thanks everyone again, and especially big thanks to Shakib. Um, Thank you for having me. This has been awesome. Uh, thanks again. Um, do other things. Subscribe. Smash the bell. Like. Send letters. Um, See you next Friday. That we're supposed to do. <laughs> bye bye.